question. Now the chair recognizes the gentleman from South Carolina. Agent Strzok, uh, between July 31st, 2016 and August Mr. the Chairman, 6th. regular order. This is regular order. The gentleman refused to answer the question earlier. He has now been advised, and I have been advised by the FBI, that he may answer the question that was in order earlier, and he's now going to answer the question. But, Mr. Chairman, Republicans have controlled the time. Now the time goes to the Democrats. The, the gentleman will be recognized shortly. Agent Strzok, between July 31st, 2016 and August 6th, 2016, how many witness interviews did you conduct as part of the Russia-Trump campaign alleged collusion investigation? I don't recall, and I'd have to check the case file. We waited all that time for that answer? Yes, sir. That's eerily similar to what you said a couple hours ago. Sir, I am telling you, and I would reject the characterization that I refuse to answer anything. I want to answer these questions. Well, I'm I going just by asked, the direction I just that I received one. from the FBI. I just asked you one, and I'm looking for a number. Sir, and I'm, my I'm, answer I'm looking is, for a number. I do not know without the opportunity to check the case file. You don't recall in the first week of an investigation that you originated approved or the contact person on, you don't recall how many witness interviews you did in the first week. Sir, I remember that there were interviews conducted. I do not know when they fell on a calendar to be able to tell you whether they When's were the in last any time set of data or the other on something that was occurring in the context of a myriad other responsibilities. When's the last time you looked at the file, Agent Strzok? Probably going on a year. For those of us who happened to look at it yesterday, would you disagree that the first interview took place on August the 11th? I don't know, Congressman. I cannot answer that. Well, prior to July 31st, 2016, how many witness interviews did you conduct as part of the Russia-Trump campaign alleged collusion investigation? None. So none before July 31st, which would be none at the time you said what you said in that text on July 21st. I, I don't understand the text you're referring Point to. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. This is on our time. Well, no. I, I, there, there are two more questions he did. I, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't answer. The gentleman will continue. Between Could May you explain 17th. explain why he can continue in our time? He can continue. He's not on your time. Not it's my on, personal it's Democratic it's time. It's on our time because he was advised earlier by the FBI that he could not answer the questions, and now he's advised that he can. So the questions will be asked and answered. Between May 7th... Parliamentary inquiry, what rules are we following that would dictate such an answer by you, Mr. Chairman? We are following the rules of the committee. Could you cite the rule? No. No. The gentleman will proceed. Just, Mr. Chairman, the point of, point point of parliamentary point inquiry... This seems to be look, well... We're, we're, we're going the, the to... Mr. Chairman, point of parliamentary of inquiry can continue, but when you do... And the FBI tells him he can't answer a question, and then they change their mind and says he can, we're going to take the time out to do that, and then we're going to continue. Mr. Chairman, point of parliamentary inquiry. The, the gentleman Democratic from South members Carolina have a right recognized. to know what the rules are in governing this hearing. Agent, so gentlemen, can you share with us the these gentleman secret rules is not that you're order. making up as you gentlemen, go along? Agent Strzok, the, between May 17th, 2017, and May 18th, no. 2017, how many interviews did you conduct as part of the special counsel team? I don't know what makes it look. No, no, we could challenge that. I don't believe I conducted any. Between May 17th, 2017 and May 22nd, 2017, how many witness interviews did you conduct in that five-day period? Well, so you just went back a year from 2018 to 2017, and I don't know. I don't 2017. Know. May 17th, 2017, okay. and May 22nd, 2017. Yeah, I believe you may have said 18, but I, 17, I don't know. Uh, oh, I, I, whether I, I did or not, it's the 17th. 2017. Fair enough, and I don't recall. Well, Chairman, I appreciate you let me make that clear. And, and again, the context when you would not answer it was you used the word impeachment on May the 18th, 2017, and you used the word impeachment on May the 22nd, 2017. And your testimony is you can't recall a single interview you would have done as part of that investigation that was supposed to lead to impeachment. And I think that line of questioning, I'm glad the FBI finally realized it, albeit a couple hours too late, 
when you are prejudging not just a result, but a punishment, which is what impeachment is, when you are prejudging the conviction and the sentencing, when you have not conducted a single solitary interview, I'm sorry, Agent Strzok, but that is letting your bias impact your professional judgment. Mr. Chairman, may I respond? I'm, briefly. Um, sir, so look, I never prejudged anything. Not in this case, not in any others. Impeachment Second, for what, Mr. Agent Strzok? Impeachment, impeachment for what? Second of all. Mr. Chairman, chairman, what are the rules here? Mr. Chairman, the what are the rules? The gentleman, the gentleman will allow the whole new round of questions. the question, and then we'll move on. Second. He was given time Second. to respond. And the now notion, he's... at the time I was the deputy assistant director, I have section chiefs, unit chiefs, in the field, supervisors, agents, people who typically do interviews, not me. If something is notable or high level, I might be involved, but it would be rare, if never, that I would typically get out there and conduct interviews, first of all. Second, you mentioned the use of the word impeachment. That was used in the context of my not knowing what this would lead to. I was not prejudging impeachment. When I used that term, it was oh, saying Agent it might Strzok, do nothing. Please. It might lead all the way thank to you, something on the thank other. Thank you, Agent Strzok. Agent Strzok, the Strzok are you The chair now recognizes the gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Clay, uh, from Iowa, Mr. King, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, to start this off, I'd like to yield a gentleman from South Carolina for a brief presentation. Thank the gentleman from Iowa. Agent Strzok, do you have your text in front of you? I do not. Um, can you, well, let me read one to you, and you tell me whether or not you uh, recall saying this. On May the 18th, 2017, who gives a, I'll give you a hint, it starts with F, one more AD versus an investigation leading to, guess what that last word is? Sorry. Sorry, I recall the text. It's impeachment. Impeachment. Uh, the day after... Mueller was appointed. How about on May the 22nd? Do you remember that text? Do you have that one in front of you? Uh, I do not. Well, here, let me see if this refreshes your recollection. This is you in response to something Lisa Page sent you. I'm torn. I think, no, I'm more replaceable than you are in this. I'm the best for it, but there are others who can do it okay, you're different and more unique. This is yours. Plus, leaving an SC, having been an SC, resulting in an, guess what that next word is? I'm sure you've got it, sir. No, well, you wrote it. Are you asking me what it is? Yeah, what, what is? What do you think it I is? I don't need to guess. Impeachment, sir. Impeachment. Five days. Five days after Mueller has been appointed special counsel, and you're already talking about impeachment twice. I thank the gentleman from Iowa. Mr. Thank Chairman, you. may I respond, time. please? The, the gentleman At the is, conclusion is of Mr. King's time, you may. Mr. Chairman, if I can respond to you. By mentions of the word impeachment, if you look at the selective text that you've chosen and you expand that look to others, you will see that in no way did I prejudge that outcome. In fact, what you've conspicuously admitted Omitted, rather, is a statement I made expressing concern that I'm not sure there's a big there there. What that clearly demonstrates, sir, is I had prejudged nothing. What it clearly demonstrates was I was looking at one potential outcome being impeachment. I was simultaneously looking at the polar opposite outcome, that there might be nothing, that there might be no criminal activity whatsoever. And I think it's fair that you take texts in the totality of the context in which they are made. 